Remember when you were a kid and you didn't want somebody to eat your food? My kids do this. My, like if my kids have grapes and like one of them is like trying to steal the grapes from the other one, they'll go like this. They'll lick it. They'll lick all the grapes and be like, okay. Now they won't steal it anymore. She's getting licked on. She, not only are her grapes getting sour, but somebody licking on them. Do you really want that? So now, that, now she's got sour licked up grapes. But guess what? Not you, my man. You're ripening on the vine. You're getting stronger all the time. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot. I still think about my ex from time to time, but I don't want that. I have blocked her everywhere and made sure she cannot contact me. For a time scale, we broke up nine months ago and she's dating someone new and I'm happy for her. I wasn't the greatest boyfriend and didn't give her much time. How do I get her out of my head completely and forever? So, bro, I'm going to give you something to think about that some people might disagree with me about. But it's a mental strategy that I think will will help you. It's 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 a bit arrogant and egotistical, but I think it's helpful. And it all starts with this little tale. You ever hear the story about sour grapes? You ever hear the story about sour grapes? The um the the fox. There's a story about the fox, and he's looking up at some uh, grapes up in a vine, and he wants those grapes. And he sees them and they're succulent and they make his mouth water and he tries to jump up and he can't get it. He tries to climb up and he falls down. No matter what he does, he can't get it. And then he sees these birds come by and these birds just land on the vine and they're just eating it. They're just eating it. They're enjoying themselves. It looks so good. And he's down there and he can't have it. So you know what he does? He scorns them. He's like, ah, those grapes, they're probably sour anyway. And so that relates to you in this way. When you think about your ex-girlfriend and she's with somebody else, and you say you're happy for, for them, you're happy for her, just remember that she's getting sour. Her grapes are going sour. And that is with all women. Now, I don't know how old you are, but a woman's sexual market value peak is about age 23. So anything after age 23 Nine months, she's not the same fresh, sweet, grape that she was nine months ago. And each year that goes by, her grapes are getting more and more sour. But guess what's great for you? Your grapes are getting sweeter. As a man, your sexual market value peak ain't till like 35. Some say even early 40s. And the reason why is because a woman's sex appeal and that's really what her value is for the most part in the marketplace is her looks that's just it's just what it is uh start to fade and the other thing is the more men she's sleeping with right that's how that's like somebody you remember when you were a kid and you didn't want somebody to eat your food my kids do this my like if my kids have grapes and like one of them is like trying to steal the grapes from the other one they'll go like this they'll lick it they'll lick all the grapes and be like okay now they won't steal it anymore She's getting licked on. She, not only are her grapes getting sour, but somebody licking on them. Do you really want that? So now, that, now she's got sour licked up grapes. But guess what? Not you, my man. You're ripening on the vine. You're getting stronger all the time. You're making more money. You're becoming a king in your life. You're getting lean. You're getting fit. You're doing all the things that increase a man's value they say a woman is valued by what she is a man is value by what he can do and you're learning how to do more stuff you're learning how to be more of a man you're growing up and there's a big difference between a 23 year old man and a 33 year old man even the way y'all look even the way we look i look at i look at young fresh elliot and i, and I even look like a beta i look at i have there's this picture of me that's in my garage when i was uh playing college football i was like 21 years old and I look at it, I'm like, that little boy still got milk in his teeth. It looked like a little beta. Uh, and I was. And if I knew what I knew then, what I know now, I would have been like, don't worry, young boy. You're going to grow up to be a great man. You're going to be a strong man. You're going to be a high value man. And that's the way it is with all men. As long as, you, as, long as you're working on yourself, your value is going to go up. It's not the same for women. They can work on themselves 
as much as they work on themselves, as much as they want, that they, their value doesn't go up. A woman's value doesn't go up when she makes more money. A woman's value doesn't go up, go up uh, as she gets older. Her value goes down. And that's why it's best for women to make use of their value when they have it, which is when they're fresh and it's still, still sweet. That's when they should make babies. But they wait till they're old, sour, rotten grapes. Uh, and then they have petri, petri dish babies, test tube babies. Um, and, you know, even if they could still do that after the eggs, you know, after they've had like three abortions and they've been on birth control pills for the past 20 years, if the eggs are even available for that. So that's it, man. It's a mindset. It may sound a little, it may sound a little harsh. Um, and I'm not saying, you know, bad mouth her or feel or, or like, you know, denigrate her, but scorn her in your mind. She's sour grapes. <laughs> and you're just turning great. <laughs> Hope that helps. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot Hulse here. And I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives. If that sounds like you, you're interested in joining a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day, in every way, in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and me and my team will get back to you with the details to see if you qualify to join us. I hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.